All right, let's uh, check in with Deuce Mason, live from the California Auto Museum. Hey, Deuce. Yeah, good morning. Cody, I could see you on one of these with your bow tie. You could, you could pull yeah. off uh, one of like these, the I don't know, ones? this 1912 yeah. racing bike, uh -huh. you know? <laughs> Good luck. Uh, anyway, uh, we're talking about this cool event at the California Automobile Museum. Bikes are on display, and right now we're checking out some of the racing bikes. I'm here with Carly. Carly, tell me about this one. What I loved about it, you, you talked about it was racing on a board track, right? Yeah, this is a 1912 Indian, and it's really customized with different parts, but they race these on tracks that were literally made of wood boards. This is the first time a motorcycle got to 100 miles per hour. It was on one of these splintering boards, very dangerous, high speeds, almost vertical miles per hour. sides. They were banked so steeply. <gasps> That is crazy. Okay, and then let's move on over here because before the break, we we're talking about this bike over here. And you told me it doesn't have brakes. Okay, how on earth do you have a bike without brakes? What, what's the purpose of that? Yeah, absolutely. These are speedway bikes. So when you have these short, oval, dirt tracks, they were really common not to have bikes because you would actually stop them with your legs. You'd be wearing steel no. boots on your, or steel shoes on your boots, and you'd slow down that way. They're really common here in the Sacramento area still today. And there's some Sacramento history involved with some of these. These were raced in Sacramento. Absolutely. This one was raced by Whitey Tompkins and his brother Shorty Tompkins. They're racing legends here in the Sacramento area. Yeah. And this is so cool to see all these bikes on display at the California Automobile Museum. In fact, you were telling me about this, uh, this was it the Bull Taco right here? What was so cool about this? Yeah, the Spanish Bull Taco was actually used for trials. And it's not so much about going fast, but it's about precision and bouncing over rocks and logs and streams to see if you can get through this obstacle course fast enough. And that's actually what motocross and things like that came out of. Wow, and then I, this one is really interesting looking to me. It's kind of bulky, uh, this Land Speed Racer. Yeah, this one has a Honda engine. It's based on a Honda, but it was really raced at Bonneville in those salt flats. So it wow. actually holds a land speed record for its class at 178 miles per hour. Very, very cool bike. And then if, uh, you know, for me, you know, I, I probably couldn't handle this. You got my scooters over here. Nice. This is kind of my style, I <laughs> yeah. think, right? I, I, can you imagine tent. me on a bike? I love those. All right. Yeah, exactly. And then um, I, I'll have to point this out. Our guy Hags, the legendary photog, uh -huh. his first bike ever was this one. Can you imagine a little four-year-old Hags <laughs> racing around, crashing and burning? That was his bike. So cool for him to uh, see that. Anyway, a lot of cool uh, bikes right here at the California Automobile Museum. You've got to check it out for yourself. So much to look at. We just showed you a small sample, guys. Back to you. Deuce, super cool. Loving it. That one is Open through uh, February 2017. Yeah, that's that's pretty awesome. Thank you very much, man. Let's get.